Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I'm a poet, one that just happens to write in a forest. My forest is the Rainbow Forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. When I enter this forest and any other collections of trees, I never know what I'm going to write about. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest. Chapter number 361, March 25th, 2023. The forest patiently waits for the growing storm, the very weather system that left 19 people dead in Mississippi yesterday. The weatherman has promised a lighter shade of hell, yet the sky is saying things that signal the soul to stay aware of the potential release of Mother Nature's springtime curse. The sun is normally bringing long rays of light into my writing place. Not today. It's shadowed by thick clouds trained to bring rain to our thirsty soils. It's moments like this that faith must be played out. The universal presence of energy has to be trusted. Calm the restless behavior in your own heart and let this moment have its voice. As a human, there's absolutely nothing I can do about weather except to accept its presence to make myself fully aware of what's going to become a beautiful day of receiving for the forest and its floor. For here we are. Let it rain. Let it pour. Let it feed the future with a blessed gift of fuel for our souls and this forest floor's soil. We run from storms. The human tends to enjoy the sound and the rhythm of rain but when the storms are hitting and they seem to be much larger and more dangerous than what we've ever had in history, and maybe that's because of climate change. But there's always going to be a lesson to be learned within these storms. But the storms that I want to talk about are the storms in your personal life, the ones that begin right here in your heart and how you think. When I have those types of storms going on in my life, for instance, like last night, I dreamed of a tornado and being in a tornado. I physically have been in one, but the storms inside my heart put me even closer to how it is shaped and it's above your head. The one that I was physically in, our alarms went off and we took cover. We saw nothing outside because the room didn't have any windows. But when we stepped free of that place we were hiding and taking shelter, we walked out into the hallway and there was glass and turmoil all over. But the storms inside our hearts and head, when they hit, we don't see the debris. But we know that we just went through something. What are we learning to deal with, with those mental storms? And how do you work your way through it? I'm a daily writer. I've been one for 30 years, and I'm also a defrag author, which means I ask the questions and I question the answers. And sure enough, today, when I get into the defrag journals, we're going to be talking about that tornado that I had in my dreams. Something created it. We need to create a conversation. And that's what this is about, to be able to say, OK, physically, when there is a storm, we can learn from it because we don't see the trees shivering. We see the creek swelling. We see the birds still singing. What is it about a physical storm versus the mental storm? Accepting the journey, writing thoughts, taking notes, learning more about yourself, not just shoving it to the side because out of sight, out of mind, your inside storms don't play that game. They're going to come back and knock on your heart again. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest.